are back at it again today. I'm obviously here inside the garden, as you guys can see. <laughs> Roxanne's already been out here roasting this morning. Yeah, it's a little humid <clears throat> out today. Yeah, this week is supposed to be a little warmer. We got some good rain this past weekend, which has been nice. Yeah. Um, it did saturate the ground, like we said, I think in the last video. But Roxanne, I don't think she's had to water the garden really too much in the past like four or five days. Oh yeah, it's been a nice little break. And then yesterday I came out and I thought to myself, well, I'm probably gonna have to water the garden, you know, in the evening time. But it <clears> rained <throat> yesterday. Yeah, but. <laughs> so I got lucky again. <laughs> it's a little drier than it has been, as you guys can see. Yeah, it's still wet though. So it is gonna need some, uh, some water maybe tonight. Well, there is a little chance of rain today, but. I don't think so. I don't see any clouds in the sky, so. No, it's pretty clear. It's pretty blue today. <laughs> <laughs> so my tomatoes are still here and growing very well. I uh, did uh, find out which type of tomatoes I have in here. I have some Roma tomatoes and San... Marzano's, I think. Yeah, San Marzano tomatoes in here as well. And I think this one right here is a Roma tomato. But yes. as you guys can tell, I kind of have some... Oh, a couple have like the blossom rot, I think. Whoop. I don't know if it's blossom rot. Whoop. Well, that one just came off, so... Well, that one's no good now. Well, that one was off anyway. Yeah. See in the bottom. Yeah, it's like I, this one too is pretty bad. I think it's more sun rot or sun frying or whatever you call it. Um, but the rest of them are doing good. I don't see a lot of... Uh, brown spots on these other ones that are in this one, but I have so many tomatoes growing right now. It's crazy. But yeah, they are doing pretty good. All of them are, as you guys can see, above the cages Roxanne made, except for this one, because this one was the smallest anyway. But all the rest are sticking up. They're all doing very good. And these peppers are doing really good too. Look how big these things are compared to the tomatoes. So these things have really shot way up. Like really high. <laughs> oh, within the last couple days, yeah. Yep. And I was out here yesterday, it was pretty windy out, and I was kind of worried. I was like, oh no, please don't break, you know? But they held on, so they're doing good. So crazy little update on my uh, watermelons here, guys. Look, I got all kinds of new little buds growing on this. And actually, the other day we were out here and Anthony moved. You move this plant or something like that, and look yeah. at I got a little, little watermelon. Found another watermelon growing. Watermelon growing right here. <laughs> and more flowers, so maybe I'll get some more watermelons than the seven I already have in here. So that's pretty cool. And take a little, last little minute gander at this garden bed right here, guys, because here, probably within the next week or so, I'm going to be ripping that all out and getting ready for my fall garden. I've already got it all planned and on paper. I am ready to go. So on last week's video, we did say that we started two new channels, guys. We do have like a vlog style daily chat channel. It is called The Daily Vibe with Rox and Ant. So make sure you guys go check that out. That's gonna start next week on Monday and it's a Monday through Friday. Just quick early morning vlogs of what's going on during the day or some background information and different things. So definitely check that out if that's something you guys are interested in and hit that subscribe button. <laughs> and Roxanne has also started her own channel that's going to be around the same time starting. And that one is... Roxy Homemaker. Yep, Roxy Homemaker, where she does a lot of homemaking stuff, cooking, arts and crafts, canning, different things, food preservation. So if you're interested in that and you don't know about it, go check that out. The links for both of those will be in this video's description on the bottom. So go check both of those out, guys. And the chickens, I like to give you guys weekly updates on these guys. They are all doing very well. And there's one rooster in here that has just gotten so big recently. And it's this guy right here, flapping his wings, see him? And he's, his head is like super red. He's skittish, this guy, for some reason. <laughs> I keep changing which rooster I'm gonna keep, but I'm waiting for one of them to crow. Since Medina died, there hasn't been too many crows going on around here. Well, this one right here that's sticking his head out. Yeah. He crows. Yeah, but not as much as Medina did. Oh, Medina would crow all day. He'd crow all day, every that's day. That's once in a great while. Yep, so I'm gonna keep my eyeball out to see which one is crowing the most and which one of these black copper morons is the biggest, which I think it's that one I just showed you guys. 
he's pretty big. He's big, and he has such beautiful colors, like the copper on his neck and stuff, the browns. It just yeah. He's a really pretty rooster. So happy chickens. They are happy. <laughs> yeah. I believe so. Oh, yeah. We'll really know how, exactly how happy they are when they start laying some eggs. Hopefully next month. <laughs> next month yeah. is the time frame we should start seeing eggs. Um, I don't have their nesting boxes open yet, but mid August, in like two weeks or so, I think I'm going to open them up so they can get acclimated to them and see what they are. I do have a bunch of um, like nesting box pads that I bought. Yeah. I'm going to put those in there and see how they do once they do start laying eggs. I had Wyatt come out here yesterday and I wanted to, he's been doing his chores pretty well. You know, he's been doing a good job, but I wanted him to do some work. And so a bunch of videos back, I was gonna line the chicken coop with a bunch of rocks like this and just never got around to finishing it. I had the whole pile over here and so I had Wyatt come out here yesterday and I said, hey, do you want to make five bucks? Yeah, yeah. So I said, grab all these rocks over here and line them up on the chicken coop. And so he did. And he did a really good job, guys. And it looks so cool. It looks really nice. And all of these rocks are from like the creeks and... Oh yeah, whatever stuff. was in the, the lawn. <laughs> yeah, in the lawn, the creeks. And so Wyatt went all around with every rock that he can grab from that pile and lined them all up nice and neat made them look really cool and even went over here and did it and then he ran out of rocks right around there but just gives it more like an earthy feel you know natural yeah. feel to it and so he earned five bucks he was very happy about that oh, yeah. and he already wants to go to the store and spend it yeah it's burning a hole in his pocket. burning a hole <laughs> kids maybe and another thing i'm really excited about is our bathroom is like 95 percent done guys it's like 95 percent <laughs> we have done the first coat of primer which we showed you guys on the last video we did one coat and we asked for your guys's kind of opinion yeah expertise we, expertise yeah hold it on if we should put one or two coats and there's a bunch of people that said one coat's fine, a bunch of people said two coats. But then we realized that the paint we have has primer in it. Yeah, paint and primer. So here's the one coat of primer. And we, we decided, we're like, well, since the paint has primer in it also, we'll just paint and it'll get its second coat of primer. Yeah, I just kind of wanna, thing, right? I, I also want to mention that this primer that we put on this is drywall primer and it is mildew and mold resistant That's right. as well. So on top of the the green board, the purple board, right, the mildew, whatever board you want to call it, mildew and water resistant board or moisture resistant. Yeah, the this primer is also good for that too. Yeah. So that's awesome. That is awesome. Well, I guess I get to start painting in here. We'll take a final gander at this nice white that we got going on. Cause that's about to change here really quick. And if you guys are curious what color I've chosen, I don't know how well on camera you can see that, but it is going to be the same color as the laundry room and Thunderdome. I just really like that color. It meshes well with any other color. And it's actually the same color we had in our old house in Las Vegas. And obviously I really liked it there too. So same color, same vibe. It'll be nice. So I'm gonna be doing this trim just a little tiny bit different than like the laundry room and other trims that I've done already because this is my house. And yes, the laundry room is part of my house also, but um, I just wanna do something more special with it. All right, got my first cut right here. So what I'm going to be doing with these boards is I have a hand router and I have this box full of all the different pieces as you guys can see right here. And so what I'm going to be using on these, on this trim is called um, a 532nd Roman edge or Roman OGEE. -E. It looks like that one. So on the top of these after they're planed, I'm gonna put an edge on them and it's gonna give it like a nice 
curved design on the top so it's not just a straight, you know, piece of trim and it makes it's gonna make the house just little tiny things like that I think make the house look nicer, little details like that. So I'm gonna try that, see if it works. And if I like it, I'm gonna do that in the whole house. The first wall has been painted, guys. What do you think? I think it looks very nice. <laughs> like I mentioned, it's the same color we've been using through this whole process, and we obviously really like the color, but I think it looks good. I mean, you can definitely see the difference between the just drywall primer and the regular. And using this paint with the primer, um, I don't think, like I think one coat of that drywall primer worked out pretty well. There's still gonna be a little bit of spots I'm gonna have to like touch up afterwards, but I might be able to get away with just one coat of paint in here as well, which is pretty cool. <laughs> well, doing this first wall makes me just so excited and amped up to finish the rest of this, so I better get moving with this burst of energy I got now. <laughs> Can you guys see it now? See this? So it's gonna look really good when it's stained. And it's gonna trim like this. It's gonna be like this. And it's against the wall. So it's got that nice routed edge to it. Can you guys see it? So when it's up against the wall, it'll look like that. Rather than just square. You guys can see. Looks pretty nice. Came out pretty good. Now that I know that that router is a success, time to get the rest of the trim. I'm gonna plane all of these too with my planer, and then I'm gonna use a roller and stain them, let them dry out here. Roxanne's busy painting inside. And then yeah, we're ready to rock and roll, guys. routed edges and they're plain. I'm gonna have to do some small pieces of trim in there also. Well, I've successfully put the first coat on. I still need to go around and do all the corners and stuff like that. I'm gonna do that with a paintbrush, but. But I wanted to get these in there first. And just in case, I mean, you never know. If you guys don't know what a planer is, like this thing, basically it, you can shave off 1 16th of an inch of the wood and it uses like these big long blades in there and it makes it like smooth as glass. I think it looks so nice in here. Uh, I mean, it's the same color we've been using, but it looks good. It's got a good vibe. It kind of mellowed it out a little bit so it's not super, you know, bright in here and it's not super dark in here either. So I do like it. You can shrink the size of wood if you need it to be planed down a little bit. But I just do it to make it nice and smooth. That way when I put the uh, stain on, I can wipe it off and it like absorbs all the color very easily and it looks very nice. I'm 
really, really sweaty. It is hot. I did go out and buy a thermometer for inside the house because I've been curious to see how hot it gets in here because like we've mentioned several times, it's hotter in here than it is outside. So right now it's like uh, 90, a little over 95, like 97 degrees in here right now. So that's pretty warm. And I bet you it's hotter inside that bathroom because there's like no airflow. I do have like the little tiny fans sitting there kind of blowing on me, but man, painting is a lot of work. <laughs> That's why I was like, I'm gonna get this roof done while I still have the energy before I get down to the, you know. But I am liking it. It looks good. All right, well, I have touched up all of the corners, as you guys can see. They all flows together. And uh, I will have to go back through, like I mentioned earlier, and do a little bit of touch up after it dries. But as it, I think it looks awesome in here, guys. What do you think? It's a really good color. Um, and as it's drying, it's kind of lightening up a little bit, which is cool too. But I think it looks good. Mm. Oh, here we go. Expertise over here. Miss Spock. Kidding. <laughs> She's all. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to let that dry for a little bit and maybe take a little cool break because I'm just really sweaty. It is hot here today, and like I mentioned, it's already almost 100 degrees in here now, so I don't think it's going to get any cooler in here as the day goes on. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure this paint is nice and dry. It didn't take very long. No, we waited a little bit. It looks so good. I know Roxanne's already said it, but it does. It looks so good, guys. And we still have so much more to do for the accents and trim and all this other good stuff. Yeah, yeah. But the next step, we can't put the trim on until we have the flooring in. So we need to really scrub and sweep and vacuum this floor because once this flooring's on, that's it. If there's any grains of dirt or dust or anything underneath. It's gonna be under there forever. <clears throat> it's gonna be under there until we rip it out. <laughs> so we're gonna get busy cleaning that really quick. It should only take us Hopefully a few minutes. It's not a giant place to do it, so. No, it's not really that bad. And Roxanne was already trying to convince me to put the toilet in right away. <laughs> she was. It's like, oh, right when the floor is and we can put the toilet in, right? Yeah. I'm like. Now that the floor is all clean, right, guys? You guys know me. From the past videos, like back in Vegas videos, but I love this stuff right here. <laughs> Flex seal. So one thing, I know they have like tape that covers these joints and different things, but I decided that we're going to use some Flex seal on these subfloor joints instead of the tape, and that's just going to help with the draft and bugs and everything coming in from outside. So wherever these joints are right here, I'm just gonna put a small coat of this flex seal. It's gonna seep into the cracks and we'll be good inside here. And then we'll be ready to put this flooring on because this stuff dries pretty quick. And we got the clear flex seal. So this stuff, I've used it already. It works very good. I'm trying not to get some on my fingers. It's basically rubber in a can. So I was looking and you can use this stuff for all kinds of things. <laughs> guys we're gonna have to let that flex seal dry for a little tiny bit yeah. it, doesn't, it doesn't take too too long but it's getting kind of hot so we're gonna let that dry and we'll get back to it in a little tiny bit what's going on guys we're back <laughs> so we let the flex seal dry yep and the paint <laughs> and the paint we let it dry for a whole day well all night and Roxanne came back inside this morning and she did some touch-up paint 
Yep. Not too much. It was just mainly like the corners. Yeah, we're ready to brush. You know, around here, different things. And so there's no, I mean, you guys know how painting is. You always miss a couple spots here and there. So I think now that the paint is nice and dry, everything is ready to go. The flex seal, it looks like it's wet still, but it's not. Mm -mm. It stuff worked really good, filled in all the cracks. It's good to go. So I'm sure we can put on the flooring now. Get this stuff rolled out and put in. We did just get vinyl flooring for this bathroom because vinyl flooring is very easy to use. It's not that expensive and it looks really good. Yeah. And it's waterproof. Yeah. And it's a bathroom. And it'll be easy to change if we ever decide to in the future. That's right. Yeah. So we're going to get this rolled out. Get this laid in there, get that trim going, and keep working today. this little piece out right here this might cut it a little bit but we're gonna have to figure out a transition from here to there and we don't know what it's gonna be yet so we're just gonna leave a little extra just in case for right now guys if you're wondering and with this vinyl flooring you don't even have to staple it down or glue it or nothing from asking the guys downtown and look up stuff but I'm just gonna go around and staple around the edge just a little tiny bit so it doesn't really move too much and then put the trim on and we should be good. Flooring is in place. Very easy. Guys. Yeah, it was super easy. A lot nicer than um, our hardwood flooring in like the laundry room and stuff. But, and it looks nice, I think. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, it's got like a, kind of like a rustic palette kind of um, a pallet, like a wood pallet? Yeah, you know, like pallets, you know, from the store and stuff. Yeah. Kind of, but it looks really nice. And uh, like Anthony said, he did staple it there. That way it can't get kicked up until we figure it out. You know, you know. It's just until we do the bath or the bedroom flooring. Yeah, that's just. And then yeah. we we'll have to do a transition yeah. to whatever we mean. You know, you have to. Yeah, and you know how kids are, they drag their feet when they walk, so I can easily see Wyatt kicking that up. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, here's that trim I made earlier, guys. I think it's gonna look so good in here. Look at that. Yeah. What do you guys think? That looks good, huh? Yeah, take a step back here. Yeah, that looks really nice. And you know, on camera here, it doesn't do it any justice either, though. No. <laughs> but it does look really nice. Yeah. I, I like so. it. Yeah. I still have to do door trim. I have to go get, I thought I had enough, I don't have enough and the small little pieces like right here and the window the window but we got to go to town this weekend anyway so we got to grab a couple more pieces but i want to get these in because i mean especially this one because then the other stuff can go in yeah and i don't have to mess with it no more so oh you know what i just realized hmm. you didn't mark the studs i know i'm looking on the bottom though i think we'll be all right and do on the bottom okay yeah all right. I thought about that too. It's alright. Yeah, no, it looks nice. Um, it does, it does change the feel in here <laughs> with the flooring in. It actually is like a room now. I mean, I keep saying that, like, oh, we paint, now it's a room, but 
it's like official now. It has a flooring instead of wood. So I think it's more officially a room now. Don't you guys like? What do you guys think? Now, mind you, like I said, I still have more trim to do, like right here and around the door, but I gotta get more pieces. Yeah. But we wanted to get this in because now we can actually put the toilet in and actually have a real toilet. A real toilet. And I know some of you are probably thinking, I don't know, man, there's no door. There's no privacy or nothing. Well, we have a solution for that too, which we're gonna show you guys in a minute. But I say we get this toilet installed. Toilets are very easy to install. They don't take long. And we got ours right here ready to go. And I say we get it done. Yes, me too. Well, it's doing its job. Well, let's keep an eyeball down here for leaks, too. I, I am. Please, please, <laughs> no leaks. Let's see if it flushes. And no leaks. <laughs> see any leaks? I don't see any leaks. That was a beautiful sound. I know, we're amazed by a toilet, <laughs> right guys? I'm sure people can totally understand. I mean, you guys try to go a year and a half without a real working toilet in a real bathroom. You'll love the sound of a flushing toilet in your own house. In your own bathroom. Success, babe. Yeah. You're probably all happy now. She's all, she's all, heck yeah. No more trailer. <laughs> I know, well, I was telling Anthony when we decided, or when we were gonna put the toilet on, I was like, man, you know, it's gonna be a really hard habit to break not running to the trailer to go to the bathroom, coming over here instead. Well, guys, it's official. Our, we have a running toilet. Ah, oh, it is so exciting. <laughs> we are like this much closer to having hot water in a real shower right there. But, I mean, everything works except for the hot water. Yeah. I mean, toilet works. Yeah. The vanity would have the uh, water. Take a shower, let's see. Oh, no yeah. No problem. I still need a silicone around everywhere. Haven't done that yet, guys. No. I have some silicone. I'll probably go do that. <clears throat> but this is exciting. <laughs> I can't wait to really use the bathroom to the fullest. But. I would say this is a huge uh, game changer here in the house. <laughs> so since we don't have a door, and you guys might not know this, but we might not put a door on. We haven't decided yet for the bathroom. Um, but one thing we do want is we do want a curtain of some sort in here. And so I bought a closet rod wooden rod. I'm going to put this up here like this and then hang a curtain from it and that way there's privacy you know in the bathroom Yeah. for right now and then when the bedroom's done I mean the door is right here and so Roxanne and I we talked you know um, it's only me Roxanne and Wyatt and if somebody's using Wyatt's bathroom for a guest bathroom or something they're just gonna have to close Wyatt's door. If somebody uses ours, they'll close the bedroom door. It's right here. So there's still gonna be privacy no matter what. Yeah. But for right now, I still have to do the trim around here, but I gotta get some. And these are just little small screws. I'm gonna put this curtain up so we can actually use this bathroom. If, you know, mainly, you know, we don't have to use the trailer no more, is what I'm excited about. Yeah, me too.
so happy we got this toilet in there. <laughs> we just got a couple more things to do, like put the vanity in, hook up the hot water heater, do some more trim work, and we are completely, completely done. With the bathroom. With the bathroom. <laughs> but at least now we can use it. Yeah, we can definitely use my camera. Wyatt, and Wyatt hasn't even seen it yet. No, he doesn't even know. He's been hanging out with, uh, you know, the kids over there at Simple Life Reclaim. Yeah. So he's gonna come back and we're gonna say, hey man, you don't have to use a trailer bathroom no more. He's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee it. So. I'm sure. <laughs> so anyway guys, getting hot, getting late, getting almost time for dinner. So I guess we will catch you all on the next one. Bye. Bye.